With a blanket of seaweed approaching, spanning twice the width of the continental United States, scientists are warning that Florida beaches could soon be inundated. The seaweed is already impacting parts of the Florida Keys, and News Channel 8's Brittany Muller joins us now. She spoke with researchers who've been tracking what they're calling a seaweed belt. Much bigger than a belt, it sounds like, Brittany. Right, and Stacy, good evening. Researchers are saying our coast will be spared of that seaweed, and it's good news because we're already dealing with red tide. Tons of seaweed are washing up in the Caribbean, and now the Florida Keys. Every year there's a cycle in the Atlantic Ocean, but in the past few years, on average, we have seen way more sargassum. Dr. Chiman Hu, USF professor of oceanography, has been tracking sargassum or brown seaweed in the Atlantic. Satellite images show this seaweed belt floating from West Africa to the Gulf of Mexico, a total of 5,000 miles and the width 300 miles. Sargassum as a plant requires the nutrient, light, and the warm ocean to grow and the different years would have different conditions. Dr. Hu believes that's because nutrient supply changes year to year. His team developed this satellite watch system to monitor the bloom conditions. He says here on the Gulf Coast, We have no reason to worry about that's the sargassum. Dr. Hu has noticed more sargassum today than just two weeks ago heading to Florida. Most time, sargassum in the ocean that's a good thing. That's a that's a habitat for many more animals. A haven for marine life, but excess amounts like this can cause environmental and economic issues. When it starts to decompose, it smells and it's a costly cleanup. Researchers say large amounts of seaweed will continue to wash ashore during the spring and summer months. However, it's unlikely again that it'll affect Bay Area beaches. So, Brittany, any idea like what parts of the state would most likely be impacted by the seaweed? We know with red tide, it really depends on the weather. Is this the same case? It is, Stacy. That's right. Doctor Who says it really all depends on tides, currents, and the wind. All right, Brittany Muller, live in Tampa. Thank you very much.